privilege to be in the house of the Lord once more. Amen. 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 I just want to give honor what honor is due first. I want to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who is the center and the top of my life, for bringing me here. And I want to honor the pastor, uh, Pastor Donnie Lee and uh, uh, Tina Lee, for inviting me. And uh, I, I just want to say this. Um, Wife first. Amen. And, uh, it was a very spiritual connection. Amen. You know, the Bible says like spirits. You know, you, you have that kindred spirit. Yeah. You can yeah. kind of feel uh, when somebody is real, even though you might not know them completely. Amen. But there's a feeling, there's a knowing. This is a child of God. This is somebody that takes the things of God seriously. And uh, I can just see the glory of God. Come on, Pastor. Even in her praise. And so I honor you, Lord of God, for every word of encouragement. Every prophetic word, every prayer, every evil, every gift that you've given me, yes. I has not gone in vain. I thank God for yes. Pastor Darnley. Uh, yes. We met uh, when I came to Pastor James at uh, Jackson and his wife at Jackson Jackson's church, Amen. and he was so friendly Amen. and so warm. Yes, he and uh, he has a pastor's heart. Yes. He has a pastor's heart. Yes. So I thank God for him. Amen. Uh, I want to honor all the five Amen. Amen. Uh, Amen. I don't want to take up too much time, but I want to honor Pastor James Amen. Jackson. in here, yeah. it makes me nervous. <laughs> Amen. And I'm the youngest, one of the youngest ones, huh? That's crazy. Uh, don't criticize me too much, because yeah, I'm getting the way. Can you say amen? Amen. amen? And Jesus is coming, amen? amen. So we thank God. And he's the ancient of days, so he has all the wisdom, all the knowledge, and all the understanding. You know, anything I can even give you. Amen. So let's lift our hands and bow our heads before Christ in this place, reverence him. Father, we thank you. Thank you for a move of the Holy Ghost. Yes. We thank you for the self-denied life. Yes, come on. Come we on. thank you that you're bringing the greater. Yes. And even like the apostle said, the greater is already here. Yes. Let us experience that greater. Yes. Let us experience that more that you have for us, God. Yes. Bless the woman of God. Bless the men yes. of God. Bless everyone in this place, yes. Lord God. Bless May they receive strength, Lord. Yes. Father, it doesn't matter how high they are in the church. Come on. It matters that you are the head of the church. Yes. And you yes. still give revelation. You still give illumination. Yes. You still give strength. Yes. Even to the grandest of people, God. Come on. Humble us, God. Humble. Break us, oh God. Yes. Help us to forget about ourselves. Yes. And to acknowledge you in all that we yes. do. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Jesus. Amen. I want to do one more thing. Give me one second. I want to do one more thing. Because I believe quenching the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 And before I let him move in here, I want to just take a poll. Can I take a poll real quick? Amen. How y'all want a move of God? Just raise I your hand if you do. Whatever you do, do not glorify me. No. It's really not about me. And I'm not saying it to be fancy. Amen. I'm saying that because it stops the flow of what God wants Amen. to do. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. even matter if you don't like me or if you think my preaching is not correct. Yeah. The Spirit of God yeah. wants to do something. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So how many of you want to move of God? Yeah. I'll tell you right now, just cry out and talk like you want to right now. However you want to do it, just come on, people of God. Begin to cry out and say, God, I want you to move. I want you to heal, deliver, set free, break yokes, destroy bondages, set us on fire once more, God. Let us embrace the greater that you have for us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, we got to come on here. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. says out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living water. And some of y'all the river has been stuck. Some of y'all the river has turned into a stream or to a little pond or to a little uh, side lake. But we want to bring that river back in flow and motion. So I just declare right now on the count of three as you put your hand on your belly to cry out and say one, two, three. Hallelujah! 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 Did y'all feel something you? How about y'all feel something kick inside of you? How about y'all something new about that Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord 
Let's just clap your hands as you go to your seat. Come on. Go forward and get my God to ask us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. As you can hear from the biography, I, 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 I like the move of God. I don't really know anything else. But with that move come came great persecution. And I, I, I hate to say it, but it came from the church. I've had preachers tell me, get out of my church. I've had preachers say, see that Elijah do? I don't want none of y'all in this ministry to talk to him. I'm walking the grocery store. If you want this anointing, you're going to have to be comfortable with being talked about. you're called to, Amen. you really cannot be afraid. And that's why I would say to y'all, be of good courage. Amen. Pastor Donnie and, and Prophetess Tina, be of good courage. Amen. Don't let them tell you you can't, because with Christ you can do all things. Because right. he's the one that's strengthening you. Right. Amen. 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 Mark chapter 1, I'm just going to read two verses. The theme is greater is coming, and I, I, I was praying about this, and I had like a million scriptures come to me. So, um, I'm just going to flow with the Holy Spirit. And I feel like you said to go to Mark chapter 1, if you don't mind standing. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 7. Actually, let's do verse 6 through 8. 6 through 8. And the Bible says, And John was clothed with camel's hair, and with a girdle of the skin about his loins. And he did eat locusts and wild honey. And preach saying, There cometh one mightier than I after me, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloose. Indeed, I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, Greater is coming. Greater is coming. Say it again, Greater is coming. Greater is coming. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Now, I'm not a hooper. I'm not somebody that I'm just going to teach. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. Amen. Bible says, Thank you, so you said the proofs. I'm just going to teach. And um, as I'm teaching, I'm just going to say this because one thing that ministers have to do, they have to make people aware of the presence of God. Do you not know that as a, as the word goes forth, that the Spirit of God can move and do what He needs to do for you? So don't just, don't just pay attention to me, but be sensitive to how He's dealing with your heart. He may be speaking to you about some things, even as the word is going forth. Amen? So, in this scripture, we see here John the Baptist, and we see a transition in the dispensation of time. We see John the Baptist, and we see Jesus. Somebody say John the Baptist. John, John the Baptist. Baptist. Jesus. Jesus. John the Baptist was uh, a prophet, right? He was a prophet. He was one that wore locusts and 
camel hair and, uh, and, and, and he was just radical. He was uh, rambunctious to some, stirred up things. Amen. He preached a message of repentance, the baptism of repentance. Amen. He told them, come out of your sins. He told them to, 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 to be free from, from your sins and to come and be submerged in water as an act of repentance. Amen. Yes, sir. And then all of a sudden, Jesus showed up. Somebody say Jesus showed up. Jesus showed up. Greater showed up. Come on, there we go. Think about it. John the Baptist. Come on. Jesus. Come on. A shift took place. The people. How can I say this? John the Baptist, he recognized that greater was coming. Come on, that's, that's good. like a lot of preachers. A lot of preachers think, well, greater it stops and it ends with me. Mm. I'm the great one. But it takes a humble vessel to know their limit and to know when they start and when they finish. My God. Come on, brother. And John said, Don't call me Messiah. Because the Pharisees and the, 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 the Sadducees and the lawyers that came to him and said, Are you the Christ? He said, I'm not. He said, are you Eli? He said, no. He said, are you some prophet? No. I'm the voice of one that's on. crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way. Yeah. He yeah. said, no, there's greater than me. Yeah. And God is saying to you guys, there's greater that's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Things will not be the same like it used to be. Yeah. Now, the first thing that happened was when this shift took place, the religious people were just confused. Because religious people are obsessed with labels. Oh. <laughs> they like to label things. So they walked up to John the Baptist and said, Oh yeah, we read the prophecy. You must be Christ. Come yeah, on. you Christ. Uh-huh. Yeah. So no, I'm not. Oh man, I guess that ain't the one. You know, because they're trying to box in. See, religious people, they do boxes. All right. Come on. Come on. Spiritual people. They don't do boxes. They do streams. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. uh -huh. They curve. They turn where the wind blows. John chapter 3. Go to John chapter 3 real quick. Yeah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come on, say, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Somebody say, glory. Glory. You may say, why, why, why are you keep making me say that? Because it's, it's important for the people to participate in the word. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. In John chapter 3, give me one second. It says here, I know that part where it says about being born again, uh, but let's look, look at verse 8. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof. Somebody say, You gotta hear the sound. So you gotta hear the sound. So that's the thing, the religious people they didn't hear the sound. They didn't hear the sound. They was looking for the person. Jesus. They, they yes, Lord, I heard that. He said they didn't hear the sound. They were looking for the stage. In other words, they were looking for somebody to come out and say, here I am. I'm the Christ. But John, if you pay attention, I'm going fast here. But John, he said, there he go. Behold the Lamb of God that was slain. Behold the Lamb that's coming. And see, see, let me read this because I'm, I'm getting overwhelmed. The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof. But cannot tell where it's coming or going. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Now I know the context of the scripture is talking about being born of the Spirit, but but and I know at that time, uh, you know, John could not be born of the Spirit. But the principle is that people that are born of the Spirit, they go according to to the moves and the grooves of the spirit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't go yeah. according to the principles and the laws of man. Come on. So God's recognition system is not your recognition system. Your recognition system is, well, let me see how much money he got. What kind of suit he wear? Does he sit in the front row or does he sit in the back row? Does he know T.D. Jakes? Does he know when he to buy them? But God's recognition system is, he got a pure heart, he don't sin, he don't troll, he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't, he don't dip,
relationship. That takes getting to know him. That takes being connected to him. That takes understanding his voice. His voice of many waters, Psalm 29 talks about. It shakes the earth. It shakes the foundation. It's like thunder. Amen. And so John, he recognized it, not by the appearance of Jesus, because Jesus wasn't looking all that good. He was a carpenter. Oh. Have you ever seen any clean carpenters lately? Oh. Any good carpenters now. that got good looks? If you see a carpenter, they got the boots, they got they got the rugged shirt, rugged pants, dirt, they smell bad. Jesus was a carpenter. So his resume did not scream greater. But there was something on the inside of Jesus that John picked up on. You know what he said when Jesus was baptized, he saw the Spirit of God descending on him like a dove. And let me tell you something. When greater comes, God announces it in Come front on. of everybody. Come on. When Jesus was baptized, guess who showed up? They had a party. The father showed up, the son was there, and the spirit was hovering over him. And the father said, This is my beloved son Come in whom Come I am well pleased. Yeah, yeah. Can I say something to you? You don't have to announce your greater. God will announce your greater.
And I just feel by, by the Spirit of God that God is releasing His compassion for souls again. God is releasing His compassion for souls again. Because He's concerned about the lost, He's concerned about the broken. Amen? Let me just say, let me continue with this. So, John represents the old way, Jesus represents the new way. Come on. Whenever this happens, we are, I talked about the fact that religious people, they're going to get mad. They're going to get upset. Why are you changing stuff? What's going on? We don't understand this. Can I say something to you? A lot of things that God does, probably, I would say 100% of it, you're probably not going to understand all of it. Yeah. That's why we need faith. Amen? Because, it, yes, Lord. Matthew 18 talks about the way that we come to Christ, come to God. Except you be as a little child. Did he say adult? No. Child, right? He said a child. What do children do? They just go and flow. They just jump in all day. They don't overthink nothing. They don't try to figure it out. I says it. I don't know. They don't try to none of that. They just go with the flow because they trust their parents. Come on. And the reason why people are religious is because they don't completely trust God. Come on. Everything that God is doing. Then your mind was not designed to be like God because if it was, then God would be nothing more than just but a concept. But He's greater than your thinking. He said, My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. My ways are higher than your ways. So here's what I want you to do. And I, I'm sorry, I'm just radical. I just gotta obey the Lord. Just lift your hands real quick, like Jesus. I just gotta obey God. And I hear the Lord say. Drop your adultness and become a child. Just drop your hands like this. Let go. That's all some of y'all gotta do. Is let go. Stop trying to think about it. Some of y'all may be maybe thinking about how God gonna deliver me, how God gonna pull me out, what's gonna happen. Just let it go. Can I testify? Yes. I, I feel like I need to testify because because people they look at people that are radical and they say, oh, he got a wild spirit. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. He got a wild spirit. He think he all that. But no, no, I'm just a child. Come on. And this is why people don't enjoy God. It's because they try to make God in their little box. You got to be able to have fun with God. There we go. Yes. Me, you take the things of God as a joke. Because God has a balance. Everything in the Bible is about balance. But at the same time, stop being so stuck up in and and and, and, and oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Say that. Say that. Stop Come on. that. Come on. Yes, Lord. Even sometimes in church, it grieves me. Woo. Have y'all been in a church service and you know somebody about to get a breakthrough and they just all stuck up? <laughs> I mean, they just won't receive that thing. Come on. You done fasting. Uh, Some of y'all preachers, y'all can identify. You done fasting. You done study. Yeah. You done pray. Yeah. You done lay before God. You done yeah. fought demons and all yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. And you coming down to pray for the folk no. and they heavy as all get out. Come on, Messiah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 They just to do. 
I qualify for his resources. Lift your hands and say, I qualify for his resources. You qualify. Somebody needs to know that. Because the enemy will make you feel like you ain't good enough. You ain't you ain't right enough. You you this, you that. He'll try to condemn you and beat you out and make you lose out of what God has for you. But I'm here to announce you that greater is coming. And greater is here. Yeah, yeah. Just my, 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 my. Greater is he that's on the in you than he that's in the world. So even when things are happening like shootings and different things like that, why are we afraid? Come on, come on. Do we not have the power of God? Do we not have the wisdom of God? Can't we go out there and, 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 and fix things and, and see the kingdom of God promote itself? Don't be afraid. Amen. Use what God has given you. Yeah. Be confident in what God has given you. It may be some rough days. In fact, I ain't going to say it may. It will be some rough days. There'll be lots of rough days. Because this way is a suffering way. That's what all those prosperity teachers don't tell you. But this way is a suffering way. You're going to have to cry sometimes. Your ego is going to be blown out of the proportions of time. Yes, sir. Jesus yes, sir. Divide. Represented the greater. And he shifted everything. But can I say something? I don't, I don't have time to go through all the scriptures, but later on, along the line, John, the same one that announced the greater, he started questioning the greater. Uh huh. He said, Is this. You know when he went to jail, right? Going he went to jail and, going and you know, situations was just yeah, was rough. Yeah. Things were just crazy. Yeah. Because it seems like when I decreased and he increased, uh -huh. that in my decrease, things became uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Can I tell you something? When God begins to release greater, uh -huh. he's going to require for you to become lesser. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you are declined to become lesser, you are not going to like it. Because this flesh is going to be like, well, I want to be great too. I want to be recognized too. But do you realize if he got to be the top dog or the, the person that's in the throne, you got to be at the bottom. Amen. And it's not pretty at the bottom. Come on. It's not cute at the bottom. On, you, you know, I gotta say this, and I'm gonna hit a, I'm gonna hit something here, and I'm just gonna do it. That's all right. Tell me to do. Hit it, Holy Ghost. A lot of people want to be apostles. Hit it, Holy yeah. Ghost. Yeah. Hit it, Holy Ghost. But do you not realize that the apostolic ministry is a ministry of suffering? Oh, yeah. And by the way, the prophet's ministry is one too of suffering. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may be able to get away with the teacher. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're going to have some suffering there. But yeah. it won't be as severe as, as the, the prophet. Why? Right. Right. Because the Bible says that the foundation of the church was oh, built on, on the apostle and, and the prophet. That's so right. There's a special kind of suffering for those offices. Come on. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And in those offices, you have to be. You know, the Lord was telling me the other day, he said, I don't even want you to mention your name when you preach anymore. Now. And it wasn't because I was doing it out of pride. Come you know, I just, you know, want people to go, okay, my name is Elijah, no, 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 this guy, he said, don't even mention that. Come because on. the higher you go, yeah, yeah, the lesser yeah, yeah, you go. come on, man of God. You have to even be careful of how come you on. look in church. Right. You have to be careful of even how you dress. You have to be yeah. careful about yeah. even, even, even how you feel because people are not stupid anymore, y'all. People got discernment. And you don't want to cause your brother or your sister to stumble. They watching the man of God. Well, you think somebody about to preach? Well, I got to watch this person. I got to see what they got. So they watching you. And they're not stupid. I know some preachers now. Well, forgive me for going here, but I'm go there. Go there. I know some preachers now that they think they fooling their folks. They think, oh, and, and you know, I, I'm not going to expose them, but the people see it. Yeah. Yeah. They're not no prophet, they're not yeah. no prophet, but they see it. Why? Because God is not going to allow his sheep to go blind anymore. Right. Oh. The prophets, the preachers, and the apostles have beaten the people. Oh. But this is an hour where everybody's going to have the anointing. Everybody's going to be used. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's yeah. Right. We're all going to go for yeah. it. Yeah. Go for it. That's right. There's a whole right. lot of work to be done. That's yeah. right. This is the time. It's no longer going to be, you know, one person. One person. <laughs> no, this is the time for team ministry. Mm -hmm. That's right. I've been telling 
why I'm not sure about that. Oh, it's the time for people to come yeah. together in yeah. teams yeah. and groups yeah. yeah. and go out. Yeah. When I was in college, y'all better see me in When I was in college, I'm going to say this not to be a bad person. Come on. I'm going to say this because this is so true. Remember Jesus, he set them out two by two. Yeah. He didn't just do that just to do that. He did that because he did that because that's the way God wanted it from the beginning. We're the ones that mess it up and say, now don't get me wrong, you gotta have oil, you gotta have structure, you gotta have the protocol. But at the same time, the reason why he set it up like that is because nobody has everything. We need each other. Yeah. That'll keep you your own check too. That's it. When you begin to think about oh, I'm a prophet. I know one prophet now, he was he started off good. I pray for him and I pray you know that he restored. He started off good, but he got the big head. And he stopped thinking he was all loud. He was all good because oh I got this prophecy right away. Oh, this person did this or this person did that. And because he lost focus of his need for God and his brothers and sisters, he fell. Here's what some people some people do in the church. The only person I need is God. But you got a family. Yes, yes. You got a body of the Bible says iron sharpens iron. People that I can call and they can speak a word into my life. Yes, yes. Because in ministry, whether you're in an official position or not, you are constantly pouring out and out and out and out. I gotta say this. I, 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 um, I heard the story of this preacher. He was a great preacher. He was powerful. He worked with A.A. Allen. I don't know if you know who A.A. Allen is, but A.A. Allen was very powerful. Moving things of God, supernatural things. And uh, he was raised under him. And uh, he was ministering, ministering, ministering. And then one night after he got the ministry, he fell. He went to sin. And the preacher asked, he said, the, one of the preachers, he asked God, he said, why he, why he, why he fell? Why are you going to sin? It's because the enemy, he don't attack you before you minister. He know you're going to be praying. He know you're going to be seeking the Lord for work. He know you're going to be like, man, I ain't trying to go to the and all this stuff. I got to get myself together. Some of y'all got to anoint you to minister or gave you an engagement. You were doing stuff you had no business doing. But you hurried up and got yourself together. You got yourself in line. Because you know what? You know, you respect the things of God. But, 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 but after. After. When you say, ah, that service was good. He can see how they shout. Yeah. Did you see how much money they gave? Did you see how the things falling out? Uh, After that, his garbage. Oh, yeah. he became comfortable. Yes, another engagement, successful. The devil says, "Ah, got you now." You came in. I'm here to tell you when God begins to give you the greater, always guard what He gives you. Don't throw your pearl to the swine. Don't get up there and say, "Well, okay, I'm good now. I can relax now." No.
Just let God say what He wants to say. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Awesome, man, we can talk about it, but I need God to say what He wants to say. Yeah. To those, and you know what I said when I gave the prophet to the pastor? I said, God, whoever's supposed to be there, let them be there. I said, if anybody come up in there, or if somebody try to come in there and try to question him, God, or just come up there and just act all cute, just, just, just let them change their mind. If they will, just let them, let them stay home. Let them go to another service. Because, because, yes, I, I'm not saying this to be boastful, but I made a promise to God. God said, he said, I give you this anointing. Will you demonstrate my power? I said, yes. He said, will you do it everywhere I go? I said, yes. He said, will you, will you do it if people talk about it? I said, yes. And I believe that God want to do that today. So, but, but he can't do it if people don't want it. Because some people, they, they feel like, if God will do it, he's going to do it by himself. No, he's not. He will not go against the will of you. No will to line up his will. You got to say yes, no. And when you say yes, no, it's like your heart is amazing. I know I'm all over the place. I don't have notes. I'm actually flowing by the Spirit. And I'm just asking God to just continue to give me the words to say. Amen. In John 14, the last thing I want to talk about is greater works. Greater works. Because with this responsibility, you don't just challenge your emotions. You don't just uh, uh, have more responsibility. You don't just have more suffering. You don't just decrease so that he may increase. But you have to actually do something. John 14, verse 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. Notice it says believe, right? Yeah, yeah. I just got through saying that you got to say yes to God. So he yes. can't he can't come against your will. You have to actually believe that he says what he's going to say and he's going to do what he's going to do. Uh -huh. The works that I do shall he also do. And greater works than these shall he do because I go unto my father. I'm saying, no, I'm saying this in the context of the scripture, he said, I'm getting ready to leave. But I'm, I'm, but, but I'm getting ready to, and you'll see it in the following scripture. In fact, even in that chapter 14, 15, 16, he goes on to talk about he releases the Holy Spirit. And he's releasing the Holy Spirit. Why? So that they can do great. So that they, so they can do a multiplied effect of what Jesus did in the earth. Can you say amen? So, I'm going to tell you that you have been charged. Yeah. Some of you may know that you've been charged. Some of you may not know that you have been charged. The day you said, Jesus Christ, come into my heart, be one of us, my life, save me, fill me with the Holy Ghost, set me on fire, I'm going for you. You were charged on that day. Amen. What a responsibility. You know what he's saying? This may sound right up in some of you, but he's saying, you know what? I set the standards. You raised the bar. I set the foundation. Now I need you to do way more than I did because I yeah. gave you way more. Yeah. Yeah. I gave you a responsibility. Yeah. Now does that mean that we're saying Jesus is not God? No, 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 no. What it's saying is he wants to be glorified on another level. Yeah. Oh. Not just through one person, but through you, 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 yeah. you. So imagine if all of us become like Jesus was and do what Jesus did. It won't just be through one person, but it'll be through thousands of people. And every we go, we'll see the glory of God. All of a sudden, the news will change. It won't just be shootings and, and robberies and black eyes. Let me be, did you know that church fed that whole community? Did you know they built a subdivision and the folks on the street came in and they didn't have to do that? Did you know that, that church down the street was giving those people jobs and people were getting healed and the news and set free? That's the greater that we're called to. Come on. Lift your hands real quick and say, God, God. I'm called for the greater. Inside of you, when you come up to 
a dead environment, things begin to shake. The pastor, man, have you ever experienced this? When you go to a church and you've been on fire and the pastor you've been on fire, but you walk up in the building and all of a sudden the pastor starts preaching. say yes to somebody that died for you. Somebody that, 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 that was crucified, that was that was made a spectacle for all of humanity. I'm challenging y'all, the Spirit of God is challenging y'all to enter into that greater yeah, yes. yes. and do the great things that he's called yes, you to yes, do. Say amen. 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 Here, you can not play. I'm wow. kind of unconventional, and, and, and people they, they, they don't think I'm crazy, but you know what? That's all right because they've been thinking I was crazy my whole life. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, but that's all right because the few of you that get it, Amen. you're gonna come back and say, My God, my life has changed. Not because of me, but because of somebody that was willing to say, You know what? It ain't about me. So just stand up wherever you are if you want it. If you don't, you're not gonna put you on the ghost. Just don't even worry about it. Just sit down. But if you want what God has for you, lift your hands and just receive. I'm not going to use emotional games and try to pump you up and try to make you feel something that ain't there. Just receive. Look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of your faith, and receive from him. Father, we thank you right now, Lord God. We worship you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Holy Spirit, I've done what you told me to do. Now, God, move through this crowd of people by your sovereign and supernatural power. May your anointing and may your fire begin to pass down these roads. So you can begin to feel the electricity. So you can begin to feel the power of God coming on you. That's him that you feel. Just receive the Holy Spirit. It's not a work of man. It's the work of God. Holy Spirit, I loose in the atmosphere. I lose you in the spirit. In the atmosphere. Just lift your hands and receive like a little child. Like a little child. Don't think about it. Don't try to figure it out. Just receive from God now. Some of you may cry. Some of you may sit in quiet reflection. Some of you may shout. Just receive from Jesus. Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord, I hear you. You said some of you are going to begin to have a burning bush experience. An encounter with God. Like you've never had before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. The heavens are being opened. The heavens are being opened right now. Open up your spirit. Open up your spirit. Don't worship the Lord. Just let him flow. Just let him flow. Just let him flow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord yes, God. Lord. Yes, God. We feel you, God. We Thank you. Do what you want to do, Lord. What you do best. What you do always. You never fail. You're always consistent in the way that you move. We ask that you touch your people now. Touch them now by your sovereign anointing. Just lift your hands real quick. I'm going to call out certain people, certain individuals. This is not for everybody, but for those of you that sense this. I'm going to pray, pray. In fact, just pray this after me. Say, Father, I receive the anointing for greater. 
a wind of God. Some of you right now, the power of God is on you. And you feel it tugging. Or of you in age. But those of you that feel that anointing, come now. Those of you that feel it on your body, physically, come now. You may feel like a heat, like an electricity, like a numbness. Begin to come. Only those that feel it. Those that are sensitive to it right now. We'll pray for the rest, but there's a special, special anointing for those that, that feel it. Hallelujah. Just come. Just line them up. Just line them up. There's more of you that need to come. Those of you that's waiting, just begin to pray in the spirit. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to cry to God. Just let me hear you pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. More of you begin to come. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Just line them up. Line them up. Hallelujah. Just begin to pray in the spirit. Just begin to pray in the spirit. The glory of the Lord is filling the temple now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And just come open, come willing, come receptive. Just open up your spirit. And they can't come just I pray for them line, line by line, but those are in. Hallelujah. There you go. Just stop it right there and tell the rest. Just lift your hands and receive. Just receive. I'm not, I'm not doing all this pushing because it's not me. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. Say it's Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank <laughs> you. 